on the last video. Hey, right there. What the fuck? And so it continues. There we go. Inventory full. Fuck you. I want that thing. You can't take it away from me. That's gonna be mine. I'm gonna get rid of this. Give me the fancier gun. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that could have been bad. My voice just cracked. That's how bad it could have been. Okay. You? Anything? No, there's a tin of empty tuna. Okay. How about this thing? Hey, a book. Journal. Cool. I'm gonna read it now. This journal is inscribed with the initials GB. Probably Studio Ghibli. We have tracked LaCroix to Los Angeles. He has made his lair in the penthouse of the Venture Tower, hiding behind for some legitimate business front while commanding his legion of demons by cover of night. I pray to the Lord for strength in the coming days, but there is a shadow that hangs over my heart like the wings of Lucifer himself. It is not LaCroix, I fear, nor his underlings, but there is fear in my heart nonetheless. An ancient evil is stirring. May God grant me the strength to overcome it. Woke up this morning, and the sun on my face was a little comfort. We lost three of the brethren last night in a fierce battle with some hellspawn. Minions of the vampire we know as Alistair Grout. We have been unable to find his lair, but it is only a matter of time. May God have mercy on the souls of our brethren. The mystery surrounding the Ankaran sarcophagus and the massacre on the Elizabeth Dane as my superiors troubled. I have been told to expect a package of the mail that may be helpful in shedding some light on this artifact. Its arrival seems... convenient, in light of LaCroix's recent arrival. Something is amiss, yet I cannot see what machinations are at play. I will wait and have faith that the Lord will see us through. We finally found the lair of Alistair Grout, but it seems we were too late. The demon had already been sent to hell before I was able to dispatch him. I ran across a younger vampire who seemed unaware of Grout's demise. No doubt one of his sucklings come to visit its master. I took care of that demon and destroyed the house. I thank God for his eternal watchfulness over me and the Brotherhood. There seems a great unrest among the vampire brood here in the city. Perhaps the arrival of the Croy was unwelcome to the rest of the damned. I know not, nor do I care. They will all burn, whether by my hand or the father's. The Ankaran sarcophagus was stolen today from the Museum of Natural History. The police report we obtained leads me to believe the demon spawn were behind it. The book I received yesterday from the Vatican only reinforces that theory. I know that these very well may be the end times and the time of the final struggle may well be upon us. I dreamed of LaCroix last night, of his hideous visage burned to ash in a green inferno. May it be that this is a vision given to me by God, and that it will be the vessel of his holy vengeance. The years have been long, too long. Perhaps the soul of my father may finally rest in peace. Brother Kriegler reported the disturbance of the vampire coven we have been observing at the mansion in Hollywood. It seems there was a party, and that something interrupted their fleshly rituals. He could say no more of the matter, but I smell LaCroix's meddling hand in this. All the better. May the demons feed on themselves until the world is rid of their evil. I had dreams of fires in Griffith Park last evening. I know not of their origin, but I fear the worst. I received a letter from His Holiness, warning me that he is fearful that the apocalypse is upon us, and that my mission has become more important than ever. I hold his words close to my heart, and will fight for righteousness until I am no longer able. I took Johansson from his hotel room last evening and brought him back here to the monastery. I am convinced that LaCroix will try to find him, as he is the only one with the knowledge about how the artifact can be opened. The brethren have been warned to expect an assault in the monastery, and they are ready to die for his glory, as am I. May the Father bless us in these last dark days. And may the children of Satan burn forever in the hellfires of damnation. Amen. We're all gonna die. Hmm. Well, that's good to know, I guess. You know, everyone's gonna burn in hell and no one's gonna be happy. Yeah. I love that shit. I should probably go in there. I also gotta re-pick this up because I'm an idiot. Thank you. Okay. Alright. The Lord give me F9 key, I press F9 key. Heatsick. Sock. Human. Thank you. Alright. And go. Alright. 
Hey, another gun. Cool. That was all that was for. That's good. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Sneak out. Good. Now I gotta jump over here. Oh. I can do it. Maybe. Nice. No! Fuck you! I am not doing that. Well, looks like I'll be going through here. This is gonna be risky. I don't even know if there's anything over here. I hope so. Oh, shit. Okay. Fuck it, 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 fuck it. There's a stool in the way! Stool in the way! Stool in the way! Move! Shit! What was that? Uh, hmm. Well, you know what? Fuck it. Okay, bitches. Do you like being bitches? Probably not. Do you want to be my bitch? Probably don't. That's good. Bye, bitch. Holy dick! I didn't know I could do that! Wow! I wanted to do more! <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> ah, that's amazing! <laughs> okay, okay, let me open this now. And hide again. What do you got? Oh! I can open this. Failed! Fuck you! There we go. Open. Alright, what's in here? Aha! Tin! Actually, there's a basement. That'll do. Hey, hey guys! Holy fuck, you're a lot of people! I gotta eat you a little bit, though. Oh, you killed him! What are you doing? Buddy! That was my friend! I gotta eat you now. You jackass. Oh well. There we go. That was delicious. What is this? I'm guessing there's a secret under here, isn't there? There is. Alright. Thanks. I like you guys. You gave me things. Also, you gave me a little bit of blood. And everyone's happy again. Because everyone that wouldn't be happy is dead. Let's go. Oh, yeah, never went upstairs. Damn it. Ah, I kind of want to go upstairs now. Shit. You know what? Fuck it. I'll go downstairs first. Uh-oh, this is going to get long. Nope. Going upstairs. Okay, upstairs. I'm a coming up. I'll see what you got for me, and we'll have a good time. I think you got more people up here, though. So I got to be sneaky about it. Holy fuck. Fuck you do. This guy's gonna be my bitch. Actually, this one first. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I gotta try this one now. Okay. Come here, pal. Come here. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I'm like 20 hours into the game and I didn't know about that. Okay. Damn! <laughs> okay. I need to do more people. I gotta try the arm now. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, that's a hunter, too. Or whatever they're called. I think they're called hunters. I don't fucking know. I think they're all hunters at this point. Fuck it. I just need him to come over here and then go back. Go back. You tipped over the stool. Go back. Go on. Stop humping the stool. Hmm. Practicing his dance lessons. Alright. Aww. All I did was snap your neck. Ah, well, it'll have to do. Okay. Well, I think this is my favorite one. You guys are having a conversation. What you talking about? Nothing? That real. Hey, pal. What are you talking about? 
Yeah, that's cool. I'm gonna go over here and eat your friend, and then I'll eat you. Bye. No! 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 You weren't supposed to hear! Whatever, I'm eating you anyway. And I cleared it out. Well done, me. What was up here anyway? Was it just people? Oh, there's a door over here. So there could be more things. Yeah, there's more things. Holy shit, there's the things. Keys. A s interior key. A gun. A book. And this. Hey, that's about the sarcophagus. Convenient. I, I, I like it. I can't take it, though. All right, what's this? Vampire Apro... This is big words now. The book is titled Vampire Apocrypha. Unidentified Sarcophagus. Discovered by Julius of Gaul, 1068 AD. Near Ankara, Ottoman Empire. The origin of this dark and mysterious talisman is largely unknown and for it's mostly considered a myth. If not for the etchings of Julius of Gaul, who first discovered and then subsequently re-entombed the artifact, there would be almost no historical record of the artifact, save for various unfounded legends of its evilness scattered throughout the writings of the Brotherhood. Historians and theologians alike have been unable to ascertain its exact age or place of origin. Although the symbols and encryptions seem to hint that the artifact is from the area of ancient Sumer and Mesopotamia, it has never been opened, and therefore any myths pertaining to who or what might be encased in it are total speculation. Vampiric origins have not been ruled out, although many scholars within the church seem to think that it may hold the remains of an ancient king, whose name so far has been lost to the ages. Let it be said, though, that the writings of Julius Skull describe the artifact as being a nefarious and dread thing, full of some ancient and undeniable evil. He attributes the death of his scribe to the artifact, who, upon setting his eyes on it for the first time, began convulsing uncontrollably and promptly died. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, sounds evil! I want it. I want to get involved in that. Anyway, I got a key. I assume I needed the key for something downstairs, because we was talking about interior. Interior design- Oh! Oh, the key was probably for the door that I unlocked. So that was only if I didn't want to go up there and kill everything. Fuck that. Everything dies. Well, it's... It's true. Well, maybe you know, everyone dies, because... You know, more, unless you're a vampire, because then you're immortal, unless you get killed, but... It, there's a lot of fucking little rules, and... You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna run around with my bush hook. That sounded amazing. What are you? Oh... Well, this place is deep. Hey, there's a guy down there. Neat. There's multiple guys down there. Good. I'm gonna kill them all. That was weird. That was also weird. I like doing that. <laughs> Alright, let's be sneaky. Okay. Sneak mode activated. Let's do this shit. Hey, pal. Never gonna get old. You? I'm gonna have to eat you, though. Sorry, man. You know, guy, now that you're dead, I realize I kinda wanna check something. Eh. Number of blood points, three. Cool. So every time I kill a guy, it adds to the point making thing. That's cool. I assume I can drink it. And it tastes good. Maybe. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Never mind, thought I could cheat and look through the wall. Hmm. Okay. Uh, there's lights I can see somehow. Oh my. Alright, how about this way? There's also lights. No! You didn't see anything! Shut up! Close your brain. Why can't I go invisible? There we go. Okay. Alright, he didn't see anything. He didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. It was your hallucinations. You were just imagining that this was gonna happen. Yep. So did your friend. And then he's like, well, that's terrible. 
Thanks for being there for me, pal. You were real. Hey! Hello! Hi! No more. No more. No more f fire. No fire. Oh, they gave you terrible tattoos. Wait, are you nines? No, you're not nines, are you? Hmm. I'm trying to remember who you are. I think I know you. I don't know, man. Dead Phoenix? You. It ruined my face. The fire. I can still feel it in my wounds. They'll kill me. They'll come back with their brands and it will burn. Oh, are you the actor guy? Shit, they found you? No. Damn it. The cries of the dead phoenix do not go unheard. Stop squawking. I wouldn't talk so they burn me. Again. And again and again. Their eyes, they, they enjoyed it. Before they come back. I'm begging you, let me out. Dude, totally. I could free you, dead phoenix. They always come back. And it always burns. Drink this and mend your broken body, phoenix. I once drank from the most desirable women in the world. Right now, this bag looks better than any of them. I feel you, dog. You'll be not, you'll not be kid. I'm gonna let you out. Open up. Don't worry, buddy. I'm gonna buff my blood. I'm going for you. Get on out, pal. Thanks. You'll never see me again. I'm gonna go somewhere no one will ever see this face again. Ah, uh, you're gonna go on the internet. Alright, pal. Fly away, dead phoenix. You're welcome. Nice guy, really. All right. Uh, I don't think there's anything even over there for worry about. So, yeah. All right. Cool. What are over here? Are there things I care about in this area? I don't think so. No. 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 It doesn't look like it. All right. Well, I guess this is just where they keep trap vampire people, because they're jerks. But I saved them because I'm not a jerk. Well, I am a little bit, but these things tend to happen sometimes. Okay. Let's go. This also reminds me of the first Assassin's Creed for some reason. I don't know why. Yes. What stories have you heard, young brother? There are many. Some say he saw his own mother eaten alive by a coven of witches. And others that he once killed an elder vampire with his bare hands. There are even whispers that he is the resurrected Saint Leopold, come to lead his armies into the final battle against the armies of darkness. <laughs> Not all stories you hear are true. Aaron Grunfeld is a good soldier just as you will become if you have faith in God and the discipline to stand in his arm. It is also said that he once killed a man of the Brotherhood because he refused to follow orders. Hmm. Some stories you hear are true, young brother. Fuck you! Don't worry. That was just a figment of your bushhook. God, I love that. You know what, though? I think it's time to do a little bit of stabbing. I like the little jingle it gives me. I also want to open that up, but I can't right now. I got a clear amount. I'll do that. They won't be expecting it. You know why? They're blind. Not really. They can see very well. I'm just really good at hiding from them. Hey, pal. You hear that? Da -da -da -dun? I think that was a sitar or something. I could be wrong. I don't remember. I've heard the instrument before. I isn't bad with names. Including names of instruments. There it was again. What could that be? Who knows? Did you know? No, I guess not. Oh well, I tried. Tried to be civil. Hey, there's a guy over here. Alright. I'm gonna have to suckle on him. Maybe. No! I want to suckle! Let me suckle! 
Let me suckle you, bro! Come on, let me suckle you! No, it's not suckling, you're in the water now! Dude! Damn it! You're a dick! Thirsty, and I don't want to use my items. Whatever, I'm gonna look at these boxes. Look at these things. I am full. I already bought all my ammo. I don't need that stuff. But it's there if I wanted it. Which I don't need. You? I don't need that still anyway. Come on, what are you doing? Oh, shit. Okay, looks like I got another guy to suckle on. Jeez. Yeah. You nervous because you think all your friends are dead? You might be onto something, pal. You really should trust your gut instincts and just get the fuck out of there. Ah, well, you're stupid. That's fine. Give me this thing. Hell yeah. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! What? What the fuck have you done? Why? Dudes! Holy shit! Wow! Wow! Honestly impressed. You get the one up on me there. Congratulations. What the fuck have you done? No! No! Whatever is freaking. No! No! Stop it! Stop it! Ugh. No! No! Ugh. Damn it! Come here! You know what? I'll take it. I'll, I'll take it. I'll, I'll take it. Okay. Alright. I get it. You two are badasses. You especially. So you know what? I'm gonna drink the blood of that guy because he's too cool. There's another guy over here. What the fuck? No! Not again! Not again! Fuck you! That is not what we're doing today! You! Come here! Come here! Come here! No! I hit you with this thing! You slash him! You did a flip! I'm almost dead now. I'm almost dead because of you. Good lord! Okay. Alright. Yeah, you're doing a little circle thing, trying to find me. It's like, where'd she go? I don't know. What could have happened? Nobody knows. Are you nervous? Are you scared? Do you not know what happened? Here, let me tell you. This happened. I'm sorry, that was a bit of a lie. I didn't actually drink all their blood. I only killed them brutally. But the bush hook, mind you. I just learned what a bush hook was yesterday. But now I know. Good. Alright, what's back here? Ah! That looks important. Looks like I'm on the right track. Oh, looks like I'm on a bad track. I'm shot, not. I knew Johansson would lure the servants of Satan. But I set this type for the Archfiend himself. Where is Lacroix? You can't keep the professor here. He had tenor. He is under divine protection. If you want him, come take him if you can. Natch. I'm coming for you. I want to get it. Oh, are you are you being that guy? That's the kind of guy he's being. All right, two can play this game, sir. Someone, oh, whoa, okay. Nope, yeah, yeah, buddy, buddy, really, really, you're a shitty shot. See, I'm just rushing you now. I'm rushing up to you. You can't even get here. Out, out, out. out. Okay, you apparently hurt. That's cool. What did you do? What did What did you do? Fuck it, I want in here. No, I can't go in there. Where are you? What? Oh, you're down there now. Fuck, dude. Are you saying I gotta out shoot you? Is that what you're saying? Well, I suppose I can try. I'm not an amazing shot, but whatever. And you have a sniper rifle. This, this isn't gonna work. Hey! This is a bad idea. Come on. 
You can, you can, okay. Okay. This is why you don't try to out-snipe a sniper. Hey, man. What are you doing? Buddy! Buddy! Why are you immune? What have you done? Are you really trying to out- Outdo me? Where the fuck did you go now? Hello? Are you up there again? No, you're over here. Hey, dude. Go on, shoot the box. Hi! Damn it! Ah, oh, you're a dick. Oh, over there? That's cool. Yeah, your faith is cool. Why is it working so well, though? I don't like it. Okay, dodging it doesn't work. Come on. There you go. Come on now. Okay. You're a dick. Ooh, this will work. Go on. Nope. Nope. Well, now I feel like I'm just picking on him. You know, technically, it's not cheating if he's just an idiot. Technically, anyway. I'm gonna kill them. I'm gonna do it right now. Hey, buddy. I did it. You're dead. Yay. Well, then. Hurrah. I guess I'll go now. Can I not take your weapon? Can I not have it? I guess not. I wanted it, but I don't get it. Oh well. Well, another one bites the dust. Or so they say. I'm gonna open this door now. Hey, dude. You're supposed to be in here, right? What's this? Nothing. Buddy. I told you everything. There's no reason for you to keep me here. Let me go! Oh. Hey, what's up, Doc? I am an archaeologist. You can't hold me here like this. I am a hostage. I do not need protection. Bring me back to my hotel at once. A speech in the sarcophagus. Speech! Speech! I guess if you can get all the way here, you deserve the answers. But can I make one request first? After I answer your questions, you will help me escape. Yeah, <laughs> oh, man! All right. Where should I begin? Tell me a story about the sarcophagus, please. Let's start with the history of the Ankaran sarcophagus. That is a long and interesting legend, lost and found throughout the ages. Tell me, are you familiar with the Assyrians? Uh, no. Well, the Assyrians lived in Mesopotamia, a region between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Most of this territory is now modern-day Iraq, Iran, Turkey, and Syria. Oh, okay. Keep going. They were warmongers, conquerors, a people driven to expand by their kings. Even before the Romans, they migrated their conquered people to the territories to stem revolt, but... Uh... I'm afraid I'm getting off the subject. This one is listening. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, the markings on the sarcophagus seem to hint that it is from some time between 1050 and 800 BC, which was a period of fierce expansion by the Assyrians. Oddly, for those years, only one king shows up on the historical record. Continue. While most likely he wiped all evidence of his predecessor's existence or passed the name to his heirs, one monarch, Mesarach, the one-eyed king, is given credit for the territory and achievements of this time. But he would have had to have been over 250 years old, like uh, Dracula or something. Or something? 
I find it hard to believe a sarcophagus with a person as important as Maserach could remain in, oh, what is the word, pristine or intact condition for so many years. But this is who is believed to be contained within. Positive. Men educated, guess. Maybe you have not heard. It was stolen from the museum before we had a chance to open it. Usually, we use equipment to carbon date, x-ray, and take air samples before we pry open the lid. A real vampire? Really? You know, it is interesting that you ask me that. The goddess on the outside of the sarcophagus was Lamastu. In Assyrian myth, Lamastu was an evil demoness who preyed on humans. Many people cite her as the mother of vampire myth, and... The engravings on and found around the sarcophagus portray a regal figure drinking the blood of his enemies. Now, this image is found in many cultures, specifically among those of royal lineage. But there is a quite scientific explanation. He was... <laughs> <laughs> he was the first LARPer. A disorder known as porphyria. In short, it is caused by a deficiency of the iron in the blood, and in many cultures, for the nobility that could conceivably get away with the cure, the treatment was to drink human blood. He knew the sweet ecstasy of... I mean, he drank blood. Perhaps. Drinking the blood of your enemies is, if nothing else, symbolic. It can inspire fear in your foes and dissidents. Don't misunderstand me. I in no way believe it was a vampire. Vampires. That's what caused this whole mess. These maniacs believe they exist. Uh, why did you discover it? Uh, that is, you see, in archaeology, one can spend years looking for a dig site, following local rumors, studying old maps. It's a complicated process, very boring. Continue. Finding and organizing a dig is the least interesting part of an archaeologist's job. Trust me, you don't want to hear about it. Lying! I don't know what would make you believe that. I have been very forthcoming with you so far. I <laughs> think that maybe you are not as familiar with the process as me. Meserag is inside, with no doubt. That I can't be sure of, nor can anyone. But I promise you it is more likely to be filled with uh, gummy bears than vampires. Perhaps maybe a mummy, but not likely the kind to go about chasing Abbott and Costello. Can you tell me another story about vampires? Not much, really. I'm an archaeologist, not a mythologist. But I do know that Lamastu, the Assyrian demoness, was thought to have been the inspiration for Lilith. The first wife of Adam in the Jewish Old Testament, another source of the vampire myth. No more stories. I want in. Ah, quite interesting. There is a surprisingly complex mechanical lock on the face of the sarcophagus. By sheer luck, we were able to find the key not far from the sarcophagus. Why no one ever found it and robbed it, it's perplexing. I want it, and I can't wait for Christmas. How strange, you would ask. I haven't seen the key since it was loaded onto the Elizabeth Dane in Turkey. It was stolen before the sarcophagus even. I am still hopeful that the police find both pieces before the contents can be disturbed. Do you get a spare? No, it's not the kind of key you can copy at the hardware store. It's actually very sophisticated, and I meant to study it at the museum. I've answered all your questions. Do you think now you could please get me out of here? I don't care who you are or why you've had so many questions about the sarcophagus. I just want to leave this place. 
Absolutely. Let's go on a cruise together. Just you and me. Thank you, my friend. I don't know where you came from, but I will never forget this kindness. Don't mention it. Or better do. Let's go party, pal. I know a boat where you and I can go on. It'll be great. Oh, hi. Your time of judgment is here. Gotta go. Come on. Let's go. We gotta go. Hurry up. We got like not a lot of time. Hurry up. Seriously. It's exploding. There's a boat. We gotta get to the boat. I killed the man by the boat. Everything's dying. The loading screen was just a small reprieve from the chaos that is ensuing currently, my friend. I'm not a vampire. I just know my shit. Come on. The boat's right there. Hurry up. We gotta go. Quick. I hope you're following me. Honestly, I do. Because you know what? We're gonna die otherwise. Get your ass over here. No! Get on the freaking docks! Boat! What's this? I don't need that. Boat time! Go! Yes! I don't even want to know. <laughs>